Welcome back, Mashies. Today we are going to be going over how to make money in Red Dead Redemption 2. These are the best ways that I have personally found. The first one's going to be a glitch, and the second one is going to be how to complete the treasure hunting maps. If you don't like glitching in games and you don't want to have any spoilers on how to get these treasure hunts done, go ahead down below in the description. We're going to have timestamps for each of the different ways to make money. Go ahead, check out the third one for wagons. That one is going to be the best replayable way to get money in the game right now. But let's get right into it. Hope you guys enjoy. If you get something out of it, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I hope you have a great day. The best way to make money in Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to be a gold bar glitch. You can find that in Limpany, just north of Flatneck Station. There's going to be a sheriff's office. Go ahead, when you get there, save the game a couple of times. I would suggest three, and then when you are done saving, go ahead and turn off the autosave function. This is going to make it so that if the glitch goes wrong, you aren't going to lose your save file. Go in there, go underneath the counter, there is going to be a loot box. Inside the loot box is going to be a gold bar and a letter. As long as the letter is there, you're fine. Go ahead, save. When you are done saving, go ahead and load up the save file of what you just saved. And then it's going to bring you outside of the town once you've loaded in. And then just go right back into Limpany. Go back to the sheriff's station. When you go in, you're going to see that there's no letter there. That means the glitch is gone well. Go ahead, loot the gold bar. You're going to be able to loot it 30 times. That's the maximum amount of bars that you can hold. Go over to the fence over an Emerald Ranch and sell those gold bars. You're going to go ahead and get $15,000. Next up, we have the treasure hunts. The first one is the Jack Hall Gang. We're also going to be going over the Poisonous Trail treasure map. If you want to see the other two, they're going to be down below in the description. For this one, you either pay him $10 for the map or you can steal it from him. With all four of the treasure hunts, you can make $7,000 off of gold bars. This first one, just to your northeast, is going to be a mountain. You got to go over to that mountain. It's going to be called Caliban Seat, just to the east of that. Get to the top, and on the top, you're going to find a ramp down. Take this ramp down and go along the rock face. Once you're done parkouring, on the rock face, you're going to find a little prompt. This is the next piece of the treasure. From there, you're going to go to Katora Springs. Make sure you are in the second O of Katora. There are going to be some rock formations. Inside one of them is going to be the treasure map. Pick it up. And then from there, you're going to find an island in a lake. This is Oak Creek's run to your east. It's the only island there. Just go ahead, make your way, and then it's pretty easy to find right on one of the rocks. You're going to get two gold bars. That's $1,000. Next up is a poisonous trail hunt. This is going to be Cairns Lodge over to the northwest. Just go ahead, go to the lodge, and then go inside. Inside, underneath the bed, you're going to find a lockbox where you can find the treasure map. Pick it up. And then you're going to be going and heading out east to a broken tree over at Faces Rock. Over on this rock, there's a couple broken trees, but the one you're looking for is going to have a hole in the bottom. Just reach in, grab the next piece of the treasure, and you're going to continue to keep moving east. In between this intersections of roads over to your east by New Hanover, you're going to find a hole in the ground with some rocks. That's the next treasure, and from there you're going to go to a waterfall. This particular waterfall is at Elysian Pool to the north of where the last place was. Once you get to the waterfall, make sure that you take out your lantern because it will be difficult to see. Just continue through the cave and try to stay to your right. As long as you're staying to your right, you should get to where you're supposed to be. There's going to be an opening, and when you get to the opening, just sprint and jump or else you will fall and die. And when you get to the end of this little cave, you're going to get three gold bars. That's another $1,500. Next up, we have the wagons. Over at Emerald Ranch, you're going to be able to sell almost every single wagon to fence. Fence is going to pay between $15 and $40 for each of the wagons. The smaller ones like this barrel and a smaller carriage like you're going to see in a second are not going to bring in that much money. Try to stay away from the ones that you've seen so far in this video. But if you can try and stay focused on the larger carriages, you're going to be bringing in $40 each time. It's going to be worthwhile. On top of that, some of these larger carriages like the one you're seeing right now will have some loot in it. So make sure that you check the back and the insides of everything that you are stealing just to see if there's any more money. Sometimes there will be loot boxes full of money. Sometimes there will be chests with items in it. And in the back, sometimes there will be a locked chest which you can just break open. With each of these, as long as you're checking the back, looting the driver after you've killed him, you will get between $50 and $100 per each carriage. So. Make sure that you just stick around Emerald Ranch, you'll make money in no time. The next best way to make money is by robbing the trains. You can go to any of the post offices, select Rig Station. This one's going to be right next to a bridge where you can stop the train and the lawman won't be able to get to you. 
So jump on top of the rafters, jump on top of the train, make sure you have your mask on and wait for the train to get going. Once it's gotten going, get a little bit closer to the bridge, jump up top in the front and then stop the conductor. If you do it a little bit too soon, don't worry. You can jump into the driver's seat and accelerate the train onto the bridge so that the lawman can't get to you. From there, kill all of the guards and loot all the guards, loot all the cupboards, chests, anything you have in the front trains, including some of the safes. These safes, you can take some dynamite. Go ahead and press onto that and then use the fire button. Uh, it's gonna be R2 on PlayStation and then triangle to ignite it. Once you've done that, you can loot these safes. Make sure you get all the safes, cupboards, anything that you can loot, and then make your way onto the passenger trains. Once you get to the passenger trains, point your gun at the passengers and rob them. Once you've done all of this, you can make between $200 and $500 per each train. Just go back to the front of the train and drive away. Of course, you're going to be getting some bounties with this, but in the end, you're going to make a little bit more than you are going to be paying off in bounties. Last up, we have all of the side quests like the bounties and the robberies. You can rob any of the shops in the game and from time to time you're going to find a side quest for a robbery like the one that we have here. Each of these robberies and bounties can get you anywhere from $200 upwards of $500. So it is worth your time, although it's not as good as the other ones because sometimes it's not replayable, sometimes you're going to be getting bounties. These are a way that you can just progress through the game at your own pace, looking for these to just supplement your income just a little bit. And they're pretty fun too. They're not gonna be as great as the other farming techniques before, but if you keep an eye out for these side quests, you're gonna be making a good amount of money. That's it for all of the tips and tricks on how to make a good amount of money in Red Dead Redemption. There might be some other th options for you, but this is what I have found to be the best way to make money. If you liked what you saw, hit that like button, hit that sub button, and again, I hope you have a great day.